Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad, and today I'm at Trail Creek in Indiana. Trail Creek is a very popular fishing river because it holds many great fish, just like the Skamania, which is summer steelhead. They also have coho and they have keen salmon that run through the river. Trail Creek has many great public access sites, and they actually list exactly where they plant the fish and how many they plant. Not only does the signs list what species of fish are in the waters, but they actually have papers and tell you what lures work and what other style of fishing will work to catch all these different kinds of fish. To start off this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly what we'll be using today. So right here is a trout bead. I'm actually using the 10 millimeter size egg yolk color. The reason why I'm running egg yolk is because there's lots of people that fish this river and normally a lot of them run the natural color orange. So I'm using the egg yolk to hopefully entice a bite. To keep my trout bead placed perfectly on my line, I'm using trout bead pegs. Now these are really great and super easy to use. You can just bring some scissors to cut them clean. So for my hooks, my most favorite hook to run with this kind of rig is the trout bead. Today I'll be running the size 8 trout bead hook. For the rest of my setup, all I'm using is Berkley barrel swivels. These prevent line twists in your line. For my monofilament leader, I'm using Trilene XL 10 pound test. And I also got my different split shot case. So depending on the current of water, I'll have to use different sizes to create the best drift possible. I just got my whole setup tied up. Right here is that eight size trout bead. I got my 10 millimeter egg yolk trout bead with the bead peg, and that's about two inches above my hook. I then have one tiny split shot about 20 to 24 inches above my bead. After that, I got my barrel swivel for my main line right here. And that just prevents line twists. And for my main line, I'm running 20 pound line. For my setup, I'm using an Allen 3 reel and my Rise Fishing Company 9 foot 9 weight fly rod. So now that I went over all the gear that I'll be using today, I'm going to show you some spots to look to where you guys can find fish hiding out. All right, guys, we just got to our first fishing spot. Right here is a natural dam created by a lot of rocks. It has a nice current going through with a deep about four to five foot hole all the way going down the middle. It's a great spot to hold a lot and lot of fish. The second best place you guys can fish is underneath log jams. They're naturally occurring when trees fall into the river and get stuck in the riverbank. More brush will pile up on top and create a nice shade. This will create colder temperatures, which the fish love to be in. Oh. Yeah, right there. Oh, it's coming back. There's a gigantic one, like a three-footer. Yeah, there's a three-footer right here. Oh, there's lots of them. Yeah, it is. Yep, yep, yep. Here, here. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, guys, I just finally caught my first scam. I hooked up a total of two times so far today. I had a monster that was probably about a three-footer. I lost it, sadly, but I finally landed my first one. Fishing Trail Creek was a lot of fun. However, we had to put a lot of work to get on the fish. Our first destination we went to, we saw maybe one or two at the very beginning of the morning at about 6 a.m., and then we didn't see anything for three more hours after. At that point, we decided to switch up our locations. Sadly, out of my group of friends, I was the only one to land one. However, my friends did hook up a couple times. I do apologize for the quality of this film. For some reason, my GoPro is making some boom, 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 boom noises. But I hope I can get it fixed before I make my next video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you liked this video, I'd really appreciate you giving a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.